when you finally decide who gets the start, is that the first test to see if they're going to sacrifice, if they're going to be team players? I think you're right. Everybody wants to start. I would say it's more important who finishes, but then when I was a player playing for my dad, I wanted to start. So I totally understand what they're saying. Uh, yeah, I, I, look, I don't think you uh, know what your team's made of until you start to face adversity. And adversity comes in the form of many, your teammate, not your teammates, your opponents. That's the biggest form of adversity. The road, the circumstances, the opponent, uh, the opponent's playing great against you. Other forms of adversity uh, that you're faced with in basketball is the stat sheet. Uh, you, gotta, you, 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 you have to get your guys to realize that you can have a great game and not score a lot of points. Uh, these are the challenges that basketball coaches have versus football coaches. Football coaches have it made because the lineman doesn't care if he scores today. Uh, you know, basketball, it, the stat sheet is your enemy as a coach. Uh, you really have to try to groom your players to understand that you know, being a great player and maybe your draft status is not going to have anything to do with how many points you score. The hardest part of your job is managing your roster. And uh, freshmen could be, in my mind, they could be doing really well, for example. But if they're not playing as much as they thought or had hoped, they think they're not doing well. I, th I may think they're doing great. Uh, but it's all managing expectations. You know, what, what are expectations? That's the hardest part of the job. Recruiting's the worst part of the job, but you have to embrace it. The hardest part of the job is managing your roster in every way you manage it.